In the past, I've done tutorials on copying JavaScript objects. I will link to those in the description. But I have yet to do a tutorial on selectively copying an object. For example, you may not want all the elements from the object in the new object. We're going to tackle that problem in this tutorial. Welcome to another tutorial from All Things JavaScript, where we help bridge the gap between novice and expert. To be notified about new tutorials, make sure to click that bell button. Also, check out the discount links to all my courses that I've included in the description of this tutorial. Now, there may be times that you need to copy attributes from an object into a new object, but you only want a subset of those attributes. Well, the traditional methods for copying objects copy the entire object. So let's look at how we might do this. Let me describe the problem first. Here in one of the JavaScript files attached to the HTML that I'm working with, I have a learner one object. Now notice how this is structured. I have two attributes, first name, last name, and then I have an object inside of that that keeps track of scores. Now, this particular object keeps track of scores for different quizzes which this learner has taken. And so the idea is that there would be a number of these objects. And the way it identifies which quiz is with the key. So the key identifies a section and a quiz. Now, this may not be the best way to handle this data, but let's but we don't always get to choose how the data is that we have to work with. And so this is an example that I might run into in some of the things that I sometimes work with. So the key indicates the section and the quiz number. And then the value is actually the score received and then the total possible. So 5 of 8, 9 of 10. Null means they haven't taken that quiz. 1 of 5 and so on. Now, I'm going to use this same example in another tutorial later on. But right now, what we want to look at is what if I wanted to create an object? I wanted to pull just part of the scores object out. Maybe I just wanted to get all of the section one quiz data and put that into a new object. How would I go about doing that? Well, that's what we're going to look at. So here in my app.js JavaScript file, I have a call to a pull scores function. And I'm passing in learner1, this object here. So this is going to be our test case. And then I'm also passing in a second value, in this case, 1. And what I want this value to represent is which section I would like to pull out. So this function is going to pull out scores for a particular section. Now, we could have it pull out the username and all of that as well. But we're going to focus just on the scores because that's the problem that we want to tackle here. So I'm going to set up that function and look at how we would accomplish this. So pull scores. Now, we have two parameters. One is the object that's passed in. And the second is the section. Now, I'm going to set that to a default value. If no value is passed in for that, I want that to be 0. And 0 is going to indicate that I want all of the scores. And so when we want all of the scores, that's a pretty easy solution. If we just want a subset, that's where things get a little more difficult. All right, so let's set up this function. First, I want to declare a scores variable. And this is going to be an empty object right now. This will be the object that will contain the subset of whatever it is I pull out of the object that is passed in. Now, as I mentioned, we'll have either a 0, which is all of the scores, or 1, 2, 3. Those could be the different subsets, so the sections, as we've in indicated here in the keys of this object. So let's deal with that. So if section is equal to 0. This is the easiest solution. And this is something we covered in other tutorials. But basically, what I would do here is simply set scores equal to 
object.assign and we're going to assign attributes of an object to the scores and what is the object we're going to assign to? It's the object that's passed in dot scores. So it's that object that's inside the object. So we use the dot syntax to access that. So that takes care of that if it is a zero. Now it gets a little more difficult when it's something else. And that's what we really want to look at. So in order to make this work, in order to copy just a subsection of that, we need to use the for in loop. That is going to go through the scores object. When I say scores object, the scores object that's inside the object that's passed in, it's going to go through that scores object and will allow us to check the key. We can check the key to see if it's the appropriate section. If it is, then we can copy the value for that key into the new object. So let's set, first set up our for in loop. Let key in obj.scores. So that's how we set up the for in loop. Keyword in right here. So this becomes the key of the object. So it will iterate through this object here, the scores object. And the key variable will become the key for that particular key value pair, for that attribute that's in the object. Now, what do we want to do with that? So we want to check the key and see if it's part of the section we're looking for. So we would do that this way. And use includes. That allows us to check a string for a substring. And so if the key includes the letter S and then concatenate the section number. If it includes that, then that's one we want to grab. So how do we make that transfer? It's as simple as this. We do scores and then we use square brackets. Now remember, square brackets is another way to access attributes within an object. So we can use the dot syntax or we can use square brackets which causes whatever is in there to be evaluated. And so the key will be evaluated and then we'll set that equal to obj.scores and we do the exact same thing on this side. So we use the same key. And so that will transfer the key across as well as transfer that value across to the new object. And then down here at the bottom, we simply want to return our new object. All right, that should work for us. So let's go ahead and try that out and see if we've solved that problem. So save that. And then let's open the console here. And let's take a look at that new object. And here we have our new object. Notice the keys. They are the same. And the values have been transferred across as well, including the null value. And so that worked for us. Now jumping back to Sublime, notice we passed in a one, so that said get section one. Let's see what happens if we pass in a zero now. And here we go, we have all of them now. Because we simply use object.assign to copy the entire scores object into a new object. All right, so the trick here was using a for in loop to allow us to access the key and check the key and then selectively copy values that matched what we were looking for. Now, before we're done here, remember I provided discount links to all my courses in the description section. I just released a new course on functional programming. Also, if you'd like to become a patron of this channel, I would appreciate the support. There are additional benefits to certain levels. You can follow a link in the description for that. You can also contribute by visiting my website. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that button or click the circle link on the left, the one with my face. 
Also, click the bell button to be notified about new releases. I release a new tutorial each week. You can also click the video link in the center to access another tutorial right away, or click the link on the right to visit my website, allthingsjavascript.com, for a complete list of tutorials and other resources. Thanks for watching.